ever wondered what it would feel like to be surrounded by a school of piranhas? It's probably not what you think. Piranhas, often feared as the voracious, bloodthirsty creatures of the deep, are victims of some of the biggest misconceptions in the animal kingdom. Despite their fearsome reputation, these fascinating fish are more than just the stuff of Hollywood movies. There's a world beyond the stereotypes, one that brings us face to face with a diverse group of species, each with unique characteristics and behaviors. From the notorious red-bellied piranha to the less known Caribbean and black piranha, the piranha family is as varied as it is misunderstood. Throughout this video, we will explore the real world of piranhas, shedding light on their environment, diet, behavior, and the intriguing differences among species. We'll also delve into their interactions with humans, and yes, we'll even talk about those infamous feeding frenzies. So let's dive in and get to know these misunderstood creatures better. Where can you find these razor-toothed fishes? If you're on the hunt for piranhas, you'd best book a ticket to South America. This is the prime location for these fascinating creatures, with their habitats spanning across a wide variety of freshwater environments. In the wild, piranhas are typically found in the warm tropical rivers that crisscross the South American continent. These waters provide the perfect temperature for these cold-blooded creatures to thrive. Imagine the Amazon River, winding its way through the rainforest, its murky depths are home to a multitude of piranha species. But don't think these fish limit themselves to rivers alone. You can also find piranhas in the diverse lakes scattered across the continent. These are often calmer waters, providing a different, but equally suitable environment for piranhas to live and breed. Reservoirs, too, provide a unique habitat for these creatures. Formed by damming rivers, these large bodies of water are rich in nutrients and provide ample food for the piranhas. They're like all-you-can-eat buffets for these voracious eaters, a fact that allows them to flourish in such environments. It's important to note, however, that not all piranhas are created equal. Different species have adapted to thrive in different environments. For instance, the red-bellied piranha, one of the most well-known species, prefers the slow-moving waters of lakes and reservoirs, while the black piranha is more likely to be found in the fast-flowing currents of rivers. In recent years, piranhas have also been introduced into non-native environments, both intentionally and accidentally. This includes parts of the United States and even China. While these introductions often lead to ecological problems, they further demonstrate the adaptability of these fascinating creatures. So, whether you're cruising down the Amazon, lounging by a South American lake, or exploring a reservoir, keep an eye out for the telltale flash of piranha fins. You never know where these razor-toothed fish might be lurking. Now that we know where they live, let's get to know them a bit more. What makes a piranha a piranha, you might wonder? Well, let's dive into the anatomy and physiology of these fascinating creatures to find out. A piranha, at first glance, may seem like a typical fish. However, upon closer inspection, you'll find that they are anything but ordinary. Their bodies are compact and muscular, designed for quick bursts of speed when chasing prey or evading predators. They usually measure between 6 to 10 inches long, although some species can grow up to 2 feet. Perhaps the most striking feature of piranhas is their coloration. Depending on the species and its specific habitat, a piranha's color can range from silver and gray to vibrant reds and yellows. These colors serve a dual purpose, camouflage to blend with their environment and a signal to other piranhas, especially during breeding season. Now, let's talk about the infamous teeth of piranhas. They have a single row of sharp triangular teeth that are tightly packed in their powerful jaws. These teeth are not just for show, they are practical tools for survival. A piranha's bite is one of the strongest among bony fishes, relative to their body size, of course. Their teeth are perfectly designed for their carnivorous diet. They use them to rip off chunks of flesh from their prey and can even bite through steel fishing hooks. What's more, piranhas replace their teeth throughout their lifetime, ensuring a constant supply of sharp tools for their next meal. Another notable feature is their lateral line system, a series of sensory organs running along the sides of their body. 
This system allows them to detect vibrations in the water, helping them locate prey and avoid danger. In terms of their internal anatomy, piranhas have a two-chambered heart, like most fish. They breathe through gills, which extract oxygen from the water as it passes through. This allows them to survive in oxygen-depleted waters, a common occurrence in their natural habitats. These physical features make piranhas well-equipped for their lifestyle. Their anatomy and physiology are a testament to the ruthlessly efficient predators that they are. Next time you think of a piranha, remember these features, and you'll understand what makes a piranha a piranha. What's for dinner in the piranha world? When it comes to piranhas, there's a lot of misinformation floating around, especially about their diet and feeding habits. Let's set the record straight. Contrary to popular belief, piranhas aren't just mindless meat eaters. In fact, these fish are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and other animals. Their diet primarily consists of seeds, fruit, aquatic plants, insects, crustaceans, and fish. They do have a taste for meat, but they're not always on the hunt for a fresh kill. The feeding habits of piranhas are primarily opportunistic. They're scavengers, often feeding on weak or injured fish that can't put up much of a fight. And yes, they will eat larger animals if the opportunity presents itself, but that's more the exception than the rule. They're surprisingly cautious eaters, preferring to nibble before committing to a full-on chomp. Now, let's talk about that notorious feeding frenzy. When food is scarce, piranhas will group together and feed in a frenzy, rapidly stripping their prey down to the bone. This behavior, while rare, is what has earned piranhas their ferocious reputation. But remember, it's a survival tactic, not a typical dining etiquette. Piranhas also play a significant role in their ecosystem. By feeding on dead or dying animals, they help to keep their environment clean and balanced. They're the garbage disposals of the river. And without them, the ecosystem could be thrown out of balance. There's also a fascinating relationship between piranhas and certain bird species, like the egret. The birds stir up the water, causing small fish to scatter. The piranhas then swoop in for an easy meal. It's a great example of the interconnectedness of nature. So, what's the takeaway? Piranhas are more than just their infamous reputation. They're complex creatures with diverse diets and feeding habits that play a vital role in their ecosystem. Piranhas may not be the bloodthirsty monsters they're often portrayed as. They're simply doing their part in the circle of life. How do piranhas behave in the wild? Now that's an intriguing question. These water-dwelling creatures known for their sharp teeth and voracious appetites have behaviors that are just as fascinating as their physical attributes. Piranhas, for the most part, are social fish that swim in groups, known as schools. This behavior is not merely for socializing, but a survival tactic. Swimming in large numbers can deter potential predators, and when it comes to feeding, a school of piranhas can devour prey in mere moments. Contrary to popular belief, piranhas aren't the mindless eating machines they're often portrayed as. They have a hierarchy within their schools, with the larger, stronger piranhas typically leading the pack. These leaders are the ones who initiate feeding frenzies, and the rest of the school follows. When it comes to reproduction, piranhas have a rather romantic side. During the breeding season, the male piranha changes color, dons a brighter hue to attract a mate. Once he's won over a female, the pair will swim off to a secluded spot to lay and fertilize eggs. Isn't that sweet? But life in the wild is not all feeding and breeding for these fish. Piranhas have to navigate a world full of threats. Their survival tactics include staying close to the riverbed during the day to avoid birds of prey and venturing into shallow waters at night to feed. Interestingly, piranhas also communicate with each other. They make distinct sounds to express different states such as being excited, afraid, or aggressive. These sounds play a key role in maintaining order within the school and ensuring their survival. So, as you can see, piranhas are far from the one-dimensional creatures they're often depicted as. They have intricate social structures, creative survival tactics, and even a bit of a romantic side. How's that for a plot twist? It seems piranhas have quite a complex social life. 
Did you know there are over 30 species of piranhas? Yes, these notorious fish come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, each with their unique characteristics. Let's dive in and explore a few of them, shall we? First up, we have the red-bellied piranha. Known for its distinct, vibrant red belly, it's one of the most recognized species and is commonly found in the Amazon River Basin. Despite their fearsome reputation, they're actually quite shy and prefer to stay in groups. Next, we have the black piranha. This is the heavyweight champion of the piranha world. They can grow up to 16 inches long and are known for their powerful jaws and sharp triangular teeth, which they use to crack open the shells of their prey. Despite their size, they are solitary creatures and often found lurking in the murky depths of South America's freshwater rivers. Then, there's the San Francisco piranha, a lesser known species. Unlike their carnivorous cousins, these guys are primarily herbivores, feeding mostly on seeds and aquatic plants. They inhabit the San Francisco River in Brazil, hence their name. And let's not forget about the Caribe piranha, native to Venezuela's freshwater rivers. These piranhas have a unique characteristic. They make a barking sound when they feel threatened. Yes, you heard that right, a barking piranha. Lastly, we have the Pygocentris perea, also known as the yellow piranha. This species is found in the San Francisco River in Brazil and is the largest among the Pygocentris species, reaching up to two feet in length. From the vibrant red-bellied piranha to the vegetarian San Francisco piranha, each species is unique in its own way. They display a variety of feeding habits, social behavior, and survival techniques that make them stand out in the aquatic world. So, the next time you hear the word piranha, remember, it's not just about the sharp-toothed, flesh-eating fish from the movies. Each species of piranha has its unique traits, making them a diverse and fascinating group of fishes. Are piranhas dangerous to humans? This is a question that has been asked countless times. You see, piranhas have a bit of a bad reputation, largely thanks to sensationalized portrayals in popular culture. But let's dive a bit deeper into the realities of piranha-human interactions. It's true that there have been instances of piranha attacks on humans, but these are surprisingly rare. Piranhas are not inherently aggressive towards humans. In fact, most attacks occur when the fish are stressed or feel threatened. This can happen in situations where food is scarce or when their habitat is disturbed. Large gatherings of people in piranha-infested waters can also trigger an attack. One of the biggest misconceptions about piranhas is that they're bloodthirsty creatures. This simply isn't true. Piranhas are opportunistic feeders and would much rather scavenge than hunt. Human flesh is not a preferred item on their menu. However, they can be attracted to splashing and thrashing in the water, which can mimic the signs of an injured animal, a natural prey. So, how can we avoid these attacks? Well, the first step is to be aware of your surroundings. Avoid swimming in known piranha habitats, especially during their feeding times, which are typically dawn and dusk. If you must enter the water, try to keep splashing and the noise to a minimum. Wearing clothing can also help deter piranhas. They are attracted to shiny objects, so removing jewelry before entering the water is a smart move. And if you are bitten, get out of the water as quickly and calmly as possible. Panic and thrashing about can incite further bites. In conclusion, while piranhas can pose a threat in certain situations, they're not the mindless killers they're often made out to be. Most piranhas are more scared of you than you are of them. Understanding their behavior and respecting their environment can go a long way in ensuring peaceful coexistence. Remember, they're just another fascinating part of our diverse and complex ecosystem. So, what have we learned about piranhas today? Well, for starters, we've discovered that these fascinating creatures inhabit freshwater environments in South America, notably the Amazon River. They're perfectly adapted to these waters with their compact, robust bodies and razor-sharp teeth. We've also delved into the anatomy and physiology of piranhas, examining their powerful jaws and the role their distinctive teeth play in their unique feeding habits. We've seen that piranhas aren't the mindless predators they're often portrayed as, 
but are in fact opportunistic feeders, partaking in a varied diet of fish, insects, and even plants. As for their behavior, we've learned that piranhas exhibit complex social structures, often moving in schools for safety and hunting efficiency. We've also debunked some myths, proving that piranhas aren't the ferocious beasts Hollywood would have us believe, but are rather shy and cautious creatures. In our exploration of different species, we've seen that there's a vast array of piranhas out there, each with its own unique traits and behaviors. From the infamous red-bellied piranha to the less known vegetarian piranha, there's a whole world of diversity within this single group of fish. And let's not forget our discussion on the relationship between piranhas and humans. We've established that while piranhas can pose a threat when provoked or starved, incidents of attacks are relatively rare. We've also outlined some survival tips, emphasizing the importance of remaining calm and avoiding sudden movements should you ever find yourself in piranha-infested waters. In conclusion, piranhas are far more than just the toothy terrors of the deep. They're a diverse and intriguing group of fish, each playing a vital role in maintaining the balance of their respective ecosystems. They're a testament to the wonders of nature, showcasing the incredible adaptability and resilience of life on Earth. Next time you hear about piranhas, remember they're more than just their teeth. They're a crucial part of their ecosystem, and they're not as scary as they seem.